And you guys are more important than any show anyway. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad well. you said that, Trish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I so so it's not just me that thinks that then. <laughs> I'm just glad you backed that up. That's just so nice to know. <laughs> and, and Jim's drinking a single cup Cali. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Man. Yeah. And just so you know, I, I'm eating my new plus late, and this is the way I eat my new plus. It's all full of fruit and. And all kinds of stuff, nuts and stuff. <laughs> but I didn't have time to finish it, so because um, I was doing my breathing too long, my breathing exercise. Mm. Anyways, nice to see you. Mm. Nice to see everybody. And you're, I like that bowl that you're using, Diana. That's a nice. Big bowl. Me too. This is my only bowl like this, and it's Perfect. my bowl. Nope. Roy never gets to use this. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So how's everybody's week? Good. Anybody else? Yes, I have. I have a, a story. Um, so I get a Facebook message um, from somebody ask, that I didn't recognize the name asking for Sunbreeze oil, and that was on a Thursday. And then I replied, and it turns out that it was a young girl um, in Salmon Arm who. Trudy had shared in New Zealand mm -hmm. with her the Sunbreeze oil because she was on the rugby team from Salmon Arm that was playing over there. And um, she, <clears throat> uh, she had anxiety and, and um, um, she's only 18 and, um, you know, traveling and, and be, being, you know, in a, in a big game against New Zealand players and Trudy sharing her magic over there. And uh, she'd used up the whole Sunbreeze and then found, found out um, my name. And uh, so we met up downtown and, and I sold her a Sunbreeze oil because she'd used the other one up in the last, well, since, since uh, a month ago. So um, she really liked the Sunbreeze and Trudy's sure doing her job. That's great. I, I had an interesting story about a lady about a couple of weeks ago, we had done a show and um, that poor dear, she lost her husband last June and she hasn't been able to sleep at night since. She can sleep during the day, but not at night. And uh, so anxiety, I guess, without her husband beside her, the dark, it's scary. So I know how calming Sunbreeze is. So I told her, she bought a Sunbreeze. I said, just put a little under her nose before she goes to bed. And she's already sleeping much better. So that that's mm -hmm. magic that Sunday. <laughs> Good. So I um, um, I did these two trade shows, right? Kamloops and Salmon Arm about a month ago. And um, the first trade show, I connected with a gal that has looked after our dog several times. And I talked to her about Sunrider in the past. And she's quite a detailed person. And... And uh, they, she's a distributor for a really high quality dog food. So they're into nutrition. Um, anyways, so she came by my booth and I had the Vita taste and I did the Vita taste. She had some tea and well, it all, that's what it took. Right. And she was like, wow. So she could really see the uniqueness of Sunrider and how good it was and how effective it was. So she started talking to a friend of hers, which she's in business with. And, um, so I met him at the second show, which was two weeks later in seminar. And, and it was actually another gal that drug him into my booth and said, you need to listen to this guy is what this woman was saying. She was talking about me. And um, so anyways, we talk a little bit and he just gets so excited because he's in so much pain uh, from a compressed uh, disc. And he'd, he'd been in the military and he's done a lot of different things. His body was really pretty badly beaten up and, he has a lot of pain in his just lower back and uh, in his spine. And he was at the, you know, the big belly and he's probably 55, 60. And anyways, he was like, you're going to come and see me, right? You're going to come and see us. He talked to his wife. He called right on the spot. And so I came, went into Kamloops, but uh, three or four days later and sat down with him and his wife and they got started and they purchased, you know, quite a bit of product from me and 
and I sent uh, their hair away right away. It came back and they just followed it to the T. And um, I got them on sport caps right away and of course the basics and sun bars and, and they just could not believe how much they love the tea and love the new plus. And he's having two packages of quinary a day, one in the morning or one at night. And she's having a half a pack in the morning at night. And it's like talking to them is so funny because she talks about it in, I just lost, she, she says, Ken, how much is a gallon of water weigh? And uh, he says, 10 pounds. He goes, I just lost a gallon of water. <laughs> <laughs> because I tell him, you know, if you drink one cup of Cali in, they're both a little fluffy, right? So if you drink one cup, you're probably going to pee two or three out. And uh, so that's how he refers to it. Yeah, still one cup in, three, three cups comes out. And uh, they both lost a ton of weight just in three weeks of all this water. And they're feeling amazing. He's sleeping good again. The pain is almost gone. He's happy and excited. They just took off an Alaskan cruise this morning. And she's like, she goes, like, Six months ago or three months ago or whatever, if leading up to a cruise, he'd be saying, oh, I'm not going to go. I'm going to cancel. He'd be all crabby and stressed out and everything. And now he's all happy and relaxed. And their life has totally changed. And it is just so much fun talking to them and seeing, you know, the power of people who just grab the bull by the horns and they just eat the foods and they just follow the vitality analysis that Randy and Dale have set up for us. So, and they, and it's like, and she says, you know, I tried having macaroni salad last night and I had cheese and wheat and, you know, I forget some other thing. And I was just like, blah, like they just keep experimenting with that. And it's like everything that that vitality analysis just says, and they've just learned. If we avoid those plus eat the sunrider, man, we just feel so good. It's always been the two things together. So. there so wellness and then it's it's like this big topic that most people don't understand and that's why our jobs are so important is you know i'm just going to go to the next slide here see if i can do this yeah so when we're brought into this world it's assumed that health is given right it's like wow i'm going to be healthy forever and i don't have to do anything to get it and then it happens to you whether you're young or whether you're middle aged or all of a sudden you show up with little health glitches that you were like, Oh, what's this about? And then you have to make a decision on how you're going to deal with it. And it's, it's inevitable that's going to happen because just wear and tear alone from hard work, hauling kids around, you know, having children, you know, the things that a woman's body goes through just to have a child. And then, um, our body starts to wear out depending on how we, how we treat it. And we often need the help of, of massage and chiropractics and different things to try to keep our body in shape. Like my daughter's a hygienist and wrists are a big issue and neck problems are issues because they're the way their, their um, neck is and they're hunched over and different things. So we have to be always doing things for our body if we want to get the most out of it. And the, the thing about food is the area that most people completely don't understand. And so I'll just touch on this quickly, that soil depletion is one area that makes our food bad. And there, there's a, a study between 1948 and 1991 in Australia where apples had lost 80% of their vitamin C and carrots 99% of their vitamin A. And in the United Kingdom between 1940 and 1990, all vegetables had seen a drop in copper, calcium, iron, magnesium, and potassium, like significantly. And I always like talking about this study because it really has an impact. And that was Dr. Pottinger's uh, cat study back in the 1930s. And he had 900 cats and he fed some of the cats processed food and some of the cats whole foods. And so that would be raw meat and raw milk, which was the whole foods for cats. And there was a significant difference in between the two groups. And the really interesting thing here, it's quite provocative, uh, is that the, the group that had the healthy food, the natural food for cats, which is the raw milk, raw meat, that they consistently had healthy offspring, generation after generation, who lived a long, you know, healthy life. 
but the cats that had the processed food, the cooked food, they had disease by late life. The next generation had disease in middle life. And the third generation had disease in early life and were often born sterile. And so I pulled this picture off the internet last night and it said, so which generation of Pottinger's cats are you? Because in our society today, you know, our, our young children are, are getting diseases we never heard of before. And it's the same as middle age and old age. We've got so many health problems today that we've never even heard of before and young children being born with disease. So his theory is working uh, the same in humans, not just cats. So we have lifestyle choices that uh, are obviously a problem. And we've got digestive disorders. And of course, a, a lot of you heard me talk about digestive issues before. And it's often the setup for a lot of, of health problems is poor digestion. And of course, that happens from the nine stomach busters, you know, coffee, tea, alcohol, you know, sugar, uh, chocolate, things like that. And, um, and then basically what we have is a, this, here's the statistics from the Public Health Agency of Canada is that 44% of adults, 20 years of age and above, have it, at least one out of 10 of these common chronic conditions. Hypertension, osteoarthritis, mood and anxiety disorders, osteoporosis, diabetes, asthma, chronic, um, just we'll call it COPD, heart disease, cancer, and dementia. So it's, it's, it's bad out there. And so it's clear there's a problem. But it's not as if people can say, oh, yeah, 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 no, I, I don't know anybody who's got health problems. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be true because most people have got something going on. And some people just put their hand up and go, yeah, yeah, no, I don't believe in that. They don't know what they don't believe in, but they just are inundated maybe with people trying to talk to them about wellness products and things. But we can't really stick our head in the sand. We have to deal with it in one way because it will catch up with you because our food supply, our diet, our stress, there's so many things working against us today. And we're gonna talk about how we can easily deal with this. And another thing that I, I just wanna to touch on is that a lot of people think that if they go to the gym every day and they exercise, all of a sudden all these, they can eat what they want and all their problems are gonna go away. But that's not true either. You do feel better and your body does tend to detoxify better if you're exercising. But you'll find that when you get into a good exercise program, it's another load on your body. So like a good example is a couple of days ago, my oldest daughter and I, we took off on this long trek and we climbed a mountain and we did all these things. And, and um, it was amazing. It was two hours of hard going. Well, how do you think my legs felt when I was done? You know, that night both of us were just like, oh my God, we really, you know, did it. And um, I'm at the gym pretty regularly now and several times a week. And I just noticed that, you know, I have to improve my nutrition that much more to make up for this excess demand on my body. My body is more tired now. It's recovering. It's repairing from, from this work. It's great for my body, but again, it's, it's another load on my body. And we can try treatment. Of course, that's the standard thing is people have a health problem and they can just say, oh, I just need to go take a pill or go to see the doctor. But it doesn't really fix, go to the cause of the problem. It just masks it over. And what we, of course, in Sunrunner, we talk about, let's create a new approach for your health. Let's create a new foundation. Let's, let's go to the cause of the problem. So quickly, you know, the Chinese took 5,000 years to figure out plants, about 40,000 plants in the human body and how to feed it. And they learned, they, they discovered this philosophy of regeneration. And it's that the body has the ability to heal itself and self-regulate itself if it consumes the right raw materials. So in other words, if you cut your hand, you expect it to heal. And so they learned that they could get the most out of foods in, in allowing the body to heal in, in any way. So why can't it repair internal problems that show up? And the, the second point of this philosophy is that the raw materials have to come from whole foods. You can't expect to take a you know, craft dinner and a vitamin pill and a Pepsi and expect to get regeneration out of that. You need to eat wide combinations of whole foods. And then the third thing 
is that the body must be willing or the person must be willing to take responsibility. We can't heal them if they don't want to be healed, right? They have to choose to make the change and to eat the right foods and whatnot. It's up to them. So Dr. Chin, he immigrated to the United States in the late 70s with vast knowledge of herbal nutrition. And it was a legacy. And his grandfather had manuscripts and he was a well-known herbalist. And Dr. Chin was infatuated by it. And he met his wife, Oi Lin, and he started Sunrider in 1982. And he had been working in research and development for a company to uh, you know, create herbs for them and uh, herbal formulas. And after he'd been in the United States for a little while, he realized, gosh, like these people in this society have no concept of nutrition. You know, and he came from this, you know, a time or in China where with these manuscripts and, and with his strong influence from his grandfather, 40,000 plants, 5,000 years trying to figure out how to feed the body and over here and we eat, you know. In, in the prairies, when I first started sharing Sunrider back in the 80s, I would always ask people, so how many fruits and vegetables have you had today? Like, how many just plants have you had today in your diet? And the average was three or less. And when I moved to BC, it was seven or less. But people just go to the grocery store and they just buy whatever they want. They don't think of that where... You know, in China, a meal of foods might have 30 or 50 different ingredients in it, you know, or 25 for sure. So it's a completely different way of looking at food. And Dr. Chin's goal was to feed the world with whole foods, with quality standards higher than anything ever seen before. So some other products are all foods. They're not medicinal. They're foods that any infant or any pregnant mother or any person with health conditions can eat. They're safe for everyone. They're super concentrated. And that part just alone is, you know, when you eat a separate meal, um, it's often, you know, at least 10 times concentrated, but it could be up to 50 times concentrated depending on the formula. So 50 pounds into one pound of finished product. So it's so concentrated and it's basically pre-digested for you. You just have to put it in your mouth. And system specific, like where do you get system specific food? You know, we like going to the grocery store and asking the clerk, yeah, where's your uh, immune system food? Oh, that would be on, on aisle three, halfway down on the left hand side. You know, that just doesn't happen. So the Chinese figured that out and they're balanced foods. So they can all be eaten together. They can all be eaten together with other foods. And, um, their children join them one by one. And so Eric is an organic chemist, and Ruben is a medical doctor, and he specializes in sports injuries. And uh, the other three kids, the two girls and the younger son, have also joined him. And today, Sunrider has a million square feet of manufacturing in the US and another million square feet worldwide to produce these amazing foods. And they produce over 400 proprietary foods, seven different product lines. And from foods, beverages, herbal supplements, personal care, skin care, to household products. So, and we love them all. So that's a little bit what I was going to just quickly cover today. And there's three ways you can start with Sunrider. I'll just finish up with that is, is you can be a customer for free and you'll pay a 10% retail. Or you can be a preferred customer and that's a $37 fee uh, once a year. And you'll pay 5% over retail. And for preferred customers, Sunrise has all these awesome things now where you can, if you go on auto ship in Canada for $130 a month, you get free shipping. And uh, you also, right now, you get a $25 e-credit every month when you order. And uh, you can also start as an independent business owner, and that's a yearly fee of $77 for Canada. And you get access to the Sunrider University and you get your own personal website and you can build a business and all that. And if you build a business, yeah, build, become an IBO, decide on a product pack and engage in some training. So that's it. And we got lots of product information, but we're not going to go any farther into that today. So I'm going to stop my share and I'm just going to open it up and see if you guys have anything to add. I'll just say that was a great, great introduction, Jim. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I, I think it's so great that I'm planning on sending it to some people that are just just starting or just about to start. So, yeah, you did really good. And I, you know, one thing I always say to people when you know I say, well, it's the, you know, they're made with Chinese herbs. And a lot of times when people think about Chinese herbs, you think of Chinese herbal medicine. And Chinese herbal medicine is probably pretty good, but would you want to consume it every day? No, you want to have food. So this is food. So I try and do that. You probably do that too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? I just wanted to say, Jim, about the power of concentration and, and the regeneration aspect. Um, years ago before Sunrider, I had massive digestive problems where I would just pass out on well, I would pass out in the bathroom and um, from the pain and uh, just did a VA and Bella showed up and I started taking three caps a day and um, I don't believe I've ever taken Bella before or haven't in years. And here I went through a day of the most horrendous digestive pain again. It's, it's walking back through some of our stuff and I thought I was totally regenerated and here it was so neat to to introduce a food and and my body goes in and says okay we're going to fix that little thing perfectly so i always tell people sit back and enjoy the ride when when you start on the sunrider foods and talking about exercise um uh my nephew who's really been struggling for the last eight years vancouver island with massive digestive problems and he couldn't he hasn't been able to exercise or do anything and i just we just did a va on him and i had just before we did it, I talked him into starting to rebound again. So uh, rebounding, you want to start real slow, like do one or two minutes. You can do it a few times a day, but no more than one or two minutes at a time because it really gets the lymphatic system moving. So lots of crap starts moving out through the lymphatic immune system. So VA shows up, his immune system is 700 drain. And I mean, no, you'd think he had cancer, but no alpha 20 C, no conco. And I'm trying to think, what the heck would, would stress his immune system that much? And then I remembered he's rebounding. So all of this crap that's been impacted in his lymphatic system for years has started moving out. So, so you're talking about the power of exercise. Yeah, you got to move it. You definitely have to move it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anybody else? Marilyn, I see you in there. Hi, <laughs> good morning. I'm trying to, I was muted, I'm sorry. I was going to say something. Uh, I love that presentation. It was really awesome, Jim. And I remember when I first learned about Sunrider through Trudy and then through all your meetings. And ha at first it was hard for me to adjust from having a cupboard full of this vitamin and this mineral and this herb because I had studied all that. But it was, I was taking so much and yet I was feeling um, you know mood swings and aches in my hips and um, a lot of things because I was al almost 50 so then when I finally got the concept well first I had great experiences with the uh, new plus in particular and just overnight and then um, like waking up with no pains in my hips for the first time in quite a long time and um, so first I had that experience and then I started to understand the fact about these being whole foods and how unique Sunrider is. And um, yeah, so, so I'm really grateful for you, to you for what you've presented. Oh, good. You know, it's, it's kind of funny how over the years you, you know, well, I'm talking about myself is, you know, you present this way and then you present that way and you get different ideas and you learn and you evolve and stuff. And then all of a sudden there's a point where you realize, you know, I haven't talked about this for a long, long time. And you start going back and, and retracing your steps into the things that mattered. And you go back to talking about those just basic fundamentals and that people need to hear. And then they go, Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, summer is about that. Oh, cool. Um, and sometimes it's, it's the presentation today was just the basic fundamentals of that's how Dr. Chin started Sunrider and why. And, and those things, those things haven't changed today other than help people's health has gotten worse. Yeah. Do you remember that it was actually Gray Jensen who came out with those three points? 
Was it Gray that developed those? Yeah. Those three? <laughs> I think he, I remember him talking about being in a restaurant and he, somebody asked him what's Sunrider and he said, well, Sunrider is about these three things. <laughs> And then, yeah, and we still find that they're so effective at explaining it. I think we're about to run out of time, but Marilyn, did you have anything to add? No, I was just thinking, you know, myself too, like everybody always forgets that the number one thing in regeneration is, you know, when we start the Sunrider products, um, myself, I would add, you know, hypoglycemic and I was full of candida to that top of my head. You know, and slowly that it takes you, you know, 10 years, 15 years to get there. And, you know, that's where we have to remember it's not a quick fix. It takes time for that to come back down and be back out of your body. So, you know, just to be patient and to be kind to yourself, but it's also a commitment. And I always like the idea that if you give yourself 90 days of a solid commitment and learning what your body's doing and giving it a chance to learn, that, you know, it's got to release all this stuff, you know, you're getting rashes, you know, while I'm feeling sicker than I was, before. well, excuse me, but it's getting rid of it. Your body's going like, yeah, yuck, I don't want it anymore. Get it out of there. And your body, you really do want to be sick. Just like, uh, you know, Trudy said, you, you are totally different that way. And now I look at it and I think, oh, I'm blessed every day that I get out and I'm going, you know, and Thanks to the slim down challenge, I got back out. Now I'm starting to run again. So I'm running a third of the two miles a day now. Good and I'm just you. up. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm loving it again. And it's like, ooh, and it's so beautiful. And today it was had, you know, a little bit of a rain. So the moisture, you know, we haven't had no rain yet, but it's a few drops. <laughs> but it was just the smell and the prettiness of it all. And just being grateful for what we have. And I'm very grateful every day to Dr. Chen and Mrs. Chen. Like, I mean, it's, and to you. And to Wanda that day being in the mall, like there's, you know, you look at it, 33 years just kind of went like that. And thank God that we had something to keep putting in our bodies every day, you know, that made it life worth living. You mm -hmm. know, you tough things happen in your life, but, you know, when you come out the other end and you're still, you know, I'm going to be 60 next year. So are you, <laughs> you know, when you think about it, it's like, yeah, I'm rocking this like huge. Like a lot of us are, we're feeling better than we have when we were in our twenties, when we started mm -hmm. because we weren't healthy. Right. And the potager's cat thing is so true, you know, and I like the other one too, where you're, um, you know, average 84 year old consumed this much sugar and how you look, the average five year old has consumed that already. And you think, holy, <laughs> No wonder those little guys are like all over the map and like say disease has started and things are really bad out there. And, you know, we really have to discuss it from our hearts and share it, you know, love, share and lead literally because people do not know. They do not understand what their bodies are doing. Yeah. And that regeneration is absolutely huge and we can regenerate. And yeah. I'm a perfect example, you know, example of that. So I do thank you all. And I thank Randy and I thank you because, you know, yeah. and it was fun being with Barb and them last night in Saskatoon. So, you know, you learn, you know, you have sister legs, you have cousins as they were talking, you know, like Trudy and I are cousins, you know, everybody, Tracy, everybody, like you, everybody all learns, right. You know, and everybody helps one another. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, in the same group or nothing. Everybody's just wants to share the love of how they feel so much. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Well, right. I think we're going to run out of time. So Randy, did well, you I just add one little snippet. Um, when you said about regeneration taking a little bit longer, like there I was, I was sick for 15 years. It took me a whole year to get better. What is a whole year when you've been sick for 15? So. Amen. Mm -hmm. And see, and you get to meet beautiful people like Diana, you know, and Diane, like, you know what, you guys, you mean a lot to you know, myself and to others as we come in and, you know, keep moving. We, you know, you got so much knowledge and everybody's got such big hearts. It, it is. It's a beautiful place to be. So thanks, Randy, for putting these on every Saturday. And yeah. thanks, you know, everybody for being here. And thanks for doing it, Jim. Yeah, you're welcome. I, I would just like to repeat what, I, what uh, Marilyn said, that I feel better now than I did 30 years ago. 
And I think I was like Diana Walker in the sense that I was eating all these vitamins and stuff. And it wasn't until I got on whole foods, a live Sunrider balanced whole foods of Sunrider. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and uh, I'll just have to say, Randy, in that chair, you look like like <laughs> Commander sitting in the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> Captain oh, McCard, except you have hair. About that last night, because I said, you know, when Star Wars came out, came out and they beamed up those, you know, packages of food and everybody was eating, I was like, oh, that's so going to happen. And everybody's like laughing at me. And I'm like, uh -huh, look at me now. <laughs> it's like, beam it up, Scotty. I need more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, I was just going to say, if we still, we haven't run out of time yet, but, um, uh, Adding the, the protein plus into into my diet, it's like, you, you know, you age and you start getting a little bit of weight around your stomach and then you get busy in the morning. You start off and you're just, you know, drinking tea and this and that. And, you know, I, I can't eat as much as I used to. And anyways, what, what happens that is if I wasn't eating as much food as I used to and as much as I knew that five meals a day is really important for weight loss and to keep your body strong and all that. Um, somehow I think my metabolism had slowed a bit. So anyways, adding in the protein plus first thing in the morning, it started putting fuel back in my body first thing. Mm -hmm. And I've actually, my metabolism is faster now because of it, because I'm eating that protein and that nutrition first thing in the morning. I wanted to add that. So it's, it's really been miraculous. I can just tell my metabolism is running faster now because I've been eating that first thing in the morning. It's really, it's been awesome. Like that. Yeah, we'll have it glad when they have it up here full time. So. Sorry? I said, and I'll be glad when it's up here full time. Yeah, and I've tried other proteins or whatever, and they, there's, they, there's not, they don't they work like that at all. or... Something. Oh yeah, they don't have any taste horrifying. Even if you're trying to get the organic pea and rice proteins, and, and it's just like you have to gag them down, but they don't feel the same and they don't work the same in your body. So New Plus has always been a staple, but having that extra, extra protein, my body needed it. And I, when when Dr. Chin and Ruben talked about bringing out this protein, they said that it's we're finding that the body with tendon issues and their Taekwondo heavily into it and uh, they said there's certain things that just are not repairing without that excess protein and then as we age we're not digesting our protein they think everything through so thoroughly uh, before they ever do anything so they that protein plus is really a revolutionary product yes it really is. and I'm just going to add like, Trisha is a vegetarian nutritionist and she was so cranky when that product was coming out because she was adamant that somehow it had MSG and it had all these things. And even though she knew Dr. Chin was absolutely anal when it comes to creating products like that, and Randy and me and a few of us were like, Trisha, calm down. You got to realize, you know, you know, we've all been eating these foods for all these years and we're life changing into manufacturing. We know how we do it. Anyways, but she had to eat it in her own body for a while before she finally, ah. <sighs> <laughs> we love it it's amazing isn't it amazing it truly really is yeah it truly really is i just wanted to share something with uh with everybody uh we were under a bit of stress here for a while so i had switched from my regular cali fortune mix to nighttime cali fortune mix and i drank it through the day for about four days and then i felt okay i think i'll switch back to my regular cali and, and fortune delight combination and it just reminded me how much Cali supports the cleansing system. Man, did I go to the washing when I switched back to regular Cali. <laughs> <laughs> really, so effective in their foods. It's amazing these foods are so effective. Yeah. 